They make it seem like it's so easy and it's such a myth. What's going on everybody? It is Manny, welcome back to my channel. Well, I'm making this video because honestly, I've got something on my mind. It seems lately that whenever I jump on social media, and it doesn't matter whether I'm talking about YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, uh, Twitter, whatever the case may be, it seems like there is a tremendous myth about Amazon FBA that I continually see represented and offered up to third party sellers. And they're trying to show you a specific way of life that you can have just if you dive in and do Amazon FBA. But a lot of times all you're seeing is a myth. And I wanna address this idea that Amazon FBA is easy, that it's this magical land where you can post things for sale and sell them for whatever you wanna sell them for, that you're immune to things like competition and market forces where world economics won't really affect you. They make it seem like it's so easy and it's such a myth that sometimes somebody just needs to say it. See, Amazon FBA doesn't guarantee you anything. And before I even really dive in, I wanna make sure that you all get me loud and clear. Amazon FBA continues to be the very best part of my business. And it's something that I'm gonna to continue to do until it no longer is. I also believe that you should get into it and you should do it wholeheartedly, but you should do it with a very clear mind and a very clear idea of what you can expect. Like I said, this is not some get rich scheme. It's not easy. Amazon FBA is a business. Amazon is not cookie cutter. It is not get rich quick. Amazon FBA is not something that you're gonna be able to just jump into and set it and forget it. Don't believe that whether you wanna turn this into a full-time income or whether you're just looking to create something of a side hustle for you, the same rules are going to apply. And this business is gonna need the same thing from you. You need to put in a lot of mental and physical energy when it comes to growing your business, finding your products, and sustaining that business. For us book and media sellers, that means that we've gotta put in the time to source. We've gotta put in the time to plan and budget. We need to put in the hours. We need to put in the miles. You're also gonna to need to put in the conversations. You're gonna to need to be willing to get all of those no's from people before you get the yeses. And that is critical. You're gonna to have to be able to deal with rejection well. If you go out to library sales and thrift stores, you're gonna be able to find some stuff. But if you wanna find the best products, you're gonna to need to be able to get special access. And you can't do that by just walking in the door and flashing money. You also need to be willing and able to expect and overcome obstacles. Amazon FBA is not immune to this, no matter what it is you see. You still need to find products. So if there's an issue with supply chain, it's going to affect you. Right now is a fantastic example of a time where many of us simply cannot get the products. It's bad enough that for the last month or so, Amazon had restricted us from sending in the products that we did have. But now that a lot of us are still under some form of a stay at home order, a lot of our businesses are not essential. So they're just not open for us to walk in even if we were willing to leave our homes. And a lot of our suppliers which ship to us directly well, they're just not operating right now either. So a combination of supply chain, cash flow, managing all of those things and planning for the future, these are all things that can affect you as a business owner. You should also expect to have some negative experiences with Amazon itself. Amazon is not here to take care of third party sellers. Their one and only concern is growing their customer base. We don't matter. So if Amazon is not shipping things out properly, too many pending orders are piling up, you got problems with your IPI score, you're having issues as far as receiving feedback or having feedback removed, Amazon is gonna take on the same attitude nine out of 10 times. Not my problem. So you definitely have to manage that relationship as well. And you have to have a healthy understanding that you only matter so much to them. So if you're jumping into Amazon FBA, please understand that it is going to reward a lot of hard work. It is a fabulous business to get into, 
but really temper your expectations and understand how much commitment it's going to require of you. You're not just going to walk in the door and start jumping into money piles like Scrooge McDuck. One million, two million, three million, four! But here's the question of the day. How are you doing? How's your business doing? And what kind of obstacles have you faced in terms of supply chain and cash flow? Go ahead and put in your comments below because I know a lot of you are on your second month of stay at home. Well, that's all for today's video, folks. If you enjoyed this video, if you want to see me make more videos like this one, please remember to share, like, and subscribe to support the channel. If you haven't liked this video yet, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, tap on that book bag right over there. And while you're in there, turn on those bell notifications so that you know every time I drop a new video. Till next time, let's go make some money.